drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. It's our first playoff match here at Kettering. We've got two of our three red robots working. Make that three. All three Baloo robots are working. And let's see if that Oxford machine can get up and engaged on the blue charging station. One up for red, one up and engaged for blue as we move into the tele-operated period. 43 red, blue 36. 35-36, that's the Dreadbots over on the Blue Alliance. Do some scoring for Blue. They go out into the middle of the field and get some of those free game pieces. They're up and over the charge station to score again. Meanwhile, 35-36, work in the middle of the field. They might be playing some defense for Blue as the Dreadnoughts go in to get some more game pieces to continue the blue scoring over on the red alliance killer bees are doing what bees do moving quickly across the field with that great swerve drive that they have and scoring medium at the three-point level for the bees 74 91 hanging out in the middle of the field they may be saving some battery power for the end of the match as 3175 Night Vision picking up more game pieces and scoring. We've got a little less than a minute left. Reds piling on those points. They're ahead 97 to 60. Let's see if that Blue Alliance can catch up. Reds playing a 2v3 match right now, and they are still maintaining that score lead. Red has five links. Blue's working on their third as the Blue Alliance team is looking to score big in our end game period. Let's see if we can get all three of those robots up and engaged. Three robots up and engaged for blue. Two robots up and engaged for red. And with 10 seconds left, this one is going to wind down to the end. And that's the whistle. Officials are tabulating our score. Let's see how this one turns out. I think we may be ready. Let me check with the official scorekeeper. I think we are. Let's roll those scores. It's going to be a win for the Red Alliance. With a score of 148 to 109. 148 to 109. Well, match number one is in the books here at Kettering Kickoff. Red Alliance taking this one, advance, advancing through the upper bracket in the match number seven. Blue Alliance will fall to the lower bracket and play in match number five. So very interesting uh, breakdown. Uh, ben, let's hop into the replay here in just a moment. What did you see uh, throughout this match? Yeah, so right at the beginning of the match, it's really obvious both autos are just really well-timed and well-written. I love the strategy. They're both almost even on points going out of auto. Um, if you look right here, they've both got two or three... And it was really good to watch, and I think that ultimately gave them the point lead, um, despite the fact that Blue had the extra balance because of their three robots, 7491 was down. It was really good to see that they were able to just time it so well and pull away in points. Um, what well, we're kind of looking at, at the match here uh, during uh, quals, we saw, you know, unfortunately some unfortunate things. You look on, on the field here, 7491's arm kind of came out the, uh, mm -hmm. the time here. I know they were having some issues on it. And then uh, over on the uh, blue alliance, the alliance captain, 35-36, looks like they had to switch to play defense most of the match here. 
Yeah, I want to say it was at about 120 that they took a really big hit, um, and it, it caused them to have to switch away from using the intake over here um, to having to play defense. Yeah, right there, you see that big hit that they took right there on the field, and then uh, well, hopefully they're okay, uh, and we'll see how it goes, but yeah, definitely had to switch over defense. What other parts in the match uh, popped out to you here? You know, like I said, um, you know, red just ultimately had the better timing. Like uh, you said earlier, the double elimination means that blue can come back and really, you know, figure out that timing and in sync work. Um, but yeah, red was just really well, uh, had a really good strategy, and it was just really good to see. Yeah, and I think the unfortunate thing for Blue Alliance when your Alliance captain's the one who gets hit and has to play defense, you know, that's who the team you're you're working on trying to be your primary scorer, right? So you've got to pick up the slack with 36, 56, 21, 37. I still think they did an admirable job yeah. uh, with it. And I look forward to seeing, you know, through the lower bracket, I think they have a good shot as well too, but Red Alliance is bringing so much firepower. Uh, I did notice earlier in the match, Night Vision looked like they kind of stopped for a few seconds, but then we're able to get going and look like themselves throughout the rest of the match. So uh, definitely you can see 33 and Night Vision uh, in this both these teams kind of going back and forth, just doing a great job. I think the one thing you really notice on this is the timing. As you see 33 go over, 30, 31 75 is typically scoring and gain over here a few seconds prior to 33 getting over. And having that timing set allows you to pick up, go, let the next person pick up and go. You don't get any traffic jams that way. There's already enough problems with running into other teams' robots. You can't afford to run into your own. So. Absolutely. Well, once again, uh, Alliance 1 is going to advance to the upper bracket. Alliance uh, 8 will fall to the lower bracket, but still in the hunt right now. So let's head back and take a look at our next match coming up here on the field. We have Alliance 4 versus Alliance 5. We'll send it back down to the Tristan and crew to announce the next set of teams.